Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. This week's video is all about Zoho Books and all of the features that you may have missed while learning how to use this software or if you're just learning it, it will be very useful for you. And also it has some more pro tips and some more features that you may have missed. We already did two of these kind of videos, features I wish I knew before in Zoho CRM and Zoho Analytics. You can find the links to them here in the corner and also the links will be down below in the description box. Make sure to check those videos out. They have plenty of useful information. And before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button because we produce a lot of useful content for all of the Zoho lovers. And now let's get into the video. The first useful feature is including a QR code in the invoices and sending it to customers. First of all, you have to go to settings and navigate to preferences, go to invoices and enable the invoice QR code option, select the QR code type. This can be either the invoice URL or a custom message. If invoice URL is selected, a QR code will be generated for the invoices URL internally for every invoice that will be created in Zoho Books. If you've selected custom message, you'll have to click configure and enter the custom message or insert placeholders and click update. Enter the QR code description and click save. And if you want to include QR codes in existing templates, you can go to settings and navigate to templates, then select invoices, click edit on the template you wish to include the QR code, go to footer selection of the template edit page and then mark the invoice QR code checkbox. Another great feature is reducing customer debts by setting credit limits in Zoho Books. This will allow you to restrict creating and updating invoices. The users cannot create or update the amount of an existing invoice if the outstanding balance and the invoice value exceed the credit limit. And also warning the users during invoice creation. The user is prompt about the invoice value exceeding the credit limit set for the customer and can then reconsider how to proceed with that transaction. Another feature is how to prevent payment intimation emails landing into spam. If you're using your own email domain, you can avoid payment intimation emails landing into spam by using zohobooks.com to your domain's SPF. If you're using Gmail, Yahoo, or any other public domain, you can choose to send emails with message service sender.zohobooks.com in the form field and the emails will be directly sent from Zoho Books with your email address in reply to field. So if the customer replies, the replies will be sent to your email address. To do that, you can go to settings, to organization profile, click configure email preference under primary contact. Under public domain, select change setting, choose Zoho Books email address to send emails from message. Another feature that not everyone knows about, even if you have a customer portal, you can have your customer pay the invoice directly without going through the portal. To do that, go to the invoices modules on the left sidebar, select the invoice for which you want to share a direct payment URL, click the more drop down in the top right corner, select share invoice link, keep the visibility as public, choose an expiration date for the URL and click generate link. Click copy link to copy the URL for your clipboard and you can share this link with your customers and they would be able to pay without going through the portal. Another great feature in Zoho Books is the ability to receive a business overview or a weekly summary report every single week. To enable a send weekly summary report for your organization, you can go to settings, preferences, general and scroll down and check the send weekly summary report options. The report is sent to the admin on the, of the organization every Sunday. Before we continue to other useful features that you may have missed, I have to remind you that we have a Facebook group where we post all of the news and updates in Zoho daily. So make sure to join our Facebook community to stay up with the news and updates and learn all of the new information about Zoho every day. And now let's move on to some features that you may have missed because they are brand new. And first one is record locking. You can now lock individual records of invoices and credit notes in Zoho Books. This means that once a record is locked, other users in your organizations won't be able to edit or delete it. To lock a record, you'll first have to enable record locking from general preferences 
of that particular module. Another great new feature are credit notes in customer portal. This lets your customers see their credit notes and find out which invoices they were applied to. They can also view any refund details and documents that are attached. Also, your customers will be able to add comments to a credit notes if needed. Another feature is tax deducted at source. Tax deducted at source is a mechanism where the tax is withheld at source. In Zoho Books, you can now enable TDS for customers, vendors, or both customers and vendors. Once TDS is enabled, you can associate it with the transactions that you create for the enabled contacts, and the tax will be calculated based on the selected tax rate. You can also view the consolidated list of transactions with the help of TDS receivables and TDS payables reports. Also, a tax override in sales transactions. Zoho introduced a preference to let you edit and override the system-generated tax amount in sales transactions. Zoho Books also now allows you to customize payment numbers manually in the Payments Made module. Previously, payment numbers were generated automatically, but now you can use the Settings icon in the Payment field to enter payment numbers manually or use the Multi-Transaction Number series. Also, sorting the data in your reports from the latest to oldest. Zoho have introduced a new option in reports that allows you to arrange periods and years from the latest to the oldest. Previously, when you selected the Compare With option, the data was displayed from the oldest to latest by default. However, with new option, you can now view comparison from the latest to oldest and vice versa. This feature is now available in the following reports. Profit and loss, cash flow statement, balance sheet, movement of equity, purchase by item, purchased by vendor, sales by customer, sales by item, sales by salesperson, general ledger, account type summary, and trial balance. There's also an update in integration with Stripe. Stripe has come up with their own instant bank verification progress through financial connections. With this integration, you'll be able to verify bank accounts and confirm account ownership. With this update, Zoho are discontinuing support for the new Plaid integrations. However, you can continue using Plaid if you've been using it already. If you switch to Stripe financial connections, then you'll not be able to continue using Plaid anymore. Once you've enabled Stripe financial connections, your customers will be able to verify their bank account while making ACH payments through their customer portal. Another new feature is SKR standards for charts of accounts. Zoho has introduced the SKR standards SKR03 and SKR04 in Zoho Books. You can now associate them to system-generated accounts in the chart of accounts. If you're an existing user, you can associate the codes by updating the accounts by clicking the update the charge of accounts of to SKR banner in the charts of accounts list page. If you're a new user, SKR03 will be default standards, which you can change to SKR04 from your chart of accounts if required. And the last update and a new feature in Zoho Books is Custom Report Generator. You can now customize account group rows, tax rows, and formula rows in your profit and loss and balance sheet reports. In tax row, a new tax row can be added to the customization as a child. Tax rows can be used to create headings for each account group and to know the details of a new account groups. Formula row. Using formula rows, you can perform actions such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Drag and drop account groups can be reordered at the same level using drag and drop. Accounts preview. Once the customizations have been made to the account structure, you can preview rows to see how the accounts will appear after the columns report have been saved. Once you have customized your report based on your preference, you can save it as a custom report. This feature is available in Premium, Elite and Ultimate plans of Zoho Box. Thank you all for watching this video. If we missed any useful features that you want to share, please leave them down in the comments below. Let's help each other in our Zoho community. Also, if you want to implement, customize or integrate Zoho Books or any other Zoho app, you can book a free 30 minute consultation with one of our experts by the link down below in the description box. And again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification button so you don't miss any useful information that we share here.